Hello. There is no time for formalities because I have a palatful pack. And I've been wanting one of these forever. But $35 to a college kid is kind of a lot. But I recently graduated college and I've been working really hard and my boyfriend decided to get me this as a gift. Oh yes. I love this color. Okay. We'll start with this because it's on top. I would I get this out so we can go through. So it's a pan pastel. Okay, okay. What color do we got? I got yellow. It looks like makeup. And then ooh. So I have yellow and blue. Those were my high school school colors. So it's good for traveling, it says. They're compatible with traditional pastel six pastel services. Retail at $16. That's really interesting and unique. Oh, there's a tool. Maybe the tool comes in here. I just haven't got to it yet. Alright, next, next, next. This is the tool. Weird. Used with pan pastel and water-based media. So, soft tool AP starter kit. I feel like this would be really good for getting down like a big wash of color in the background. Now I have a four set of pastels over here, primary colors, love that, love that, and then the gray tones. So I'm going to be working kind of big then because you can't get super micro details with sticks like this. Oh my goodness. What is this? Okay, so this side is like soft, like, like, kind of velvety? Yeah, right here it says, Velour board. Unless you are a dedicated pastel artist, this is probably a service you have never tried before. Pastel velo paper has a unique velvet texture surface ideal for pastels, oil pastel, crayon, chalks, and charcoal. Dude, I literally graduated from a, like, with an art degree six months ago. Um, and in my three and a half years, never heard of this. And <laughs> kind of really taking it back. And then, ooh, this fits in there very snugly. A 24 sheet sketchbook with pastel paper. Which is nice, I actually don't have pastel. I have a little bit of pastel paper, but not, not white. I only have colored. This feels really nice too. Just let me get resituated, and then we're gonna play around with these. Now these are kind of tough to get on. Oh, there we go. My nail kind of ripped a hole in it though. But I guess I won't be using that side much, mostly the bottom bit. So it said to clean these, I just like wipe it off on a paper towel or, um, Put it I can actually like wash it with soap and water. And then we got these two, which you just use your hands with. I like this one because it's kind of like a, a finger, and when you're using pastels, you use your fingers pretty often. Wonder how well they smudge. Oh, I like this red. It's kind of it's very pinky red. Guess I can get pretty good lines. I think these are both the same color for I no, nope, they are different. Nope, they're the same. I got the same two middle ones. <laughs> I don't know if I was supposed to. Because the packaging says they should be a 470 473 and a 474, but I got two 474s. Hmm. Whatever. <laughs> I got black, white, and greens. More than I need. Alright, I'm really excited to see what's up with these. Start with yellow, because blue- oh my goodness. Because blue will contaminate a lot easier. <gasps> oh wow. Oh my god. I love that. Like, look how even and like you don't see any strokes or anything. And it keeps going and it just gets lighter. I feel like you could get a nice gradient. Just by doing this. 
I love that. Let's play with this blue. If the yellow was shocking, I can only imagine what this blue is gonna look like. Let's do it right here next to the yellow. I said you can mix it like paint, like, <gasps> yeah, oh my gosh. I could imagine making a really nice, like, delicate, soft, like, background. This is exactly what I mean when I say I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to work small. I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing. I'm just trying to get a f feel for this materials. I wonder if I can then go in with this, kind of soften up some of those lines. And so it softens them up. I admittedly, I'm not the hugest fan of pastels, but this is fun. I can get behind this. And these aren't too soft. They're actually kind of hard. And I think they did that knowing that this is gonna give you that soft look and you'll need something harder to, to give yourself some outlines and details because you're not gonna be able to get many details with the pan pastel. Yeah, I'm gonna take just a regular eraser. I would use a kneaded eraser. They're just in my storage unit. My, they're in my shelf. I just don't wanna reach for them right now. So if I wanna add a highlight in, Right there. All right, well, I feel like I've got an idea of how they're all gonna work. I just need to do some brainstorming. All right. So I'm gonna catch you up. I did the yellow in fast forward speed because, you know, I wasn't home alone and I feel weird doing, I, I record in my living room and I feel weird when I have like my roommates home. I don't mind when my boyfriend's home, but when my roommate's home, I feel awkward doing it in the living room. So basically what you missed was me using this big sponge and the yellow and rubbing it in. I pretty much always do my sketches off camera because I get a little <laughs> anxious and in order to, especially when you're doing realism, you know, I actually had to, I had to draw with my tablet or the paper pad up at an angle to make sure everything's symmetrical. <laughs> so don't kill me. Um, if you guys are ever curious about my sketching process, I can do that in its own video. Um, but. Uh, look how even this coat is because of this. I think yellow is a pretty easy co color to get like a good even coat because it's so close to to white that you can kind of barely tell. And like it's actually like pretty well incorporated into the paper because when I go like this I you know I get some on my fingers but not a lot like I really love the formula of these pan pastels like I, I honestly might get more if I see myself using other colors. I wish I had a red one. I wish they would have given us the three primary colors. But yellow and blue will suffice. With my sketch, this is kind of the plan I have. I ended up using a different reference. Something else I noticed that I didn't notice last night whenever I was doing my initial reactions to the supplies is this book has different colored pages in the back of it and then in the front you get white. So there's a blue, a greeny gray, a tan, a beige, a off-white cream, and then the white white. I think either way, had I known about the colors, I would have gone with white because that's what's going to work best with the composition I have in mind. And then I, these are really hard to get, like these little guys are hard to get onto this tool. And so I find I keep ripping them. I didn't feel like completely taking this off and cleaning it. So I just flipped it over and I ripped it a second time. Maybe it's because my nails are kind of long. <sighs> I don't know. I feel like they would tear either way because I'd be pulling on them. So now I'm going to do a blue stripe from about here down to about there. <sighs> I'm nervous. Um, hello, Carl. <laughs> Go 
Coral. Hey. Hey. Down. Down. Okay, you come this way. Uh, yeah, so that triangle did not turn out 100% how I wanted it to, so I'm gonna go in with this because I feel like I'll have a little bit more control. I'm gonna use the squared off side. I figured something was gonna have to go wrong at some point because it was all turning out so good. Alright, and now I'm gonna use this eraser to clean up the edge. <sighs> That's definitely not perfect, but I can roll with it. Now, the red bit is gonna be a little more difficult because I don't have the, I don't have a pan for that. That's what I meant when I said I wish I had a red pan. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to use these. I did some experiments off camera and I realized that my colored pencils kind of mix okay with the pastels and I only have so many color options here like I only have one shade of red and unless I want to muddy it down with black and like I do plan to use black and the blue and the red spots but I need an in-between color too so I might incorporate some of my colored pencils I'm uh, I think I mentioned this in one of my last videos like I'm not about to let some like unspoken challenge make my artwork not turn out as much as I want it to as well as I would like it to so editing is here so what I mean by this is like there's this unspoken rule that when you do like scrawler box powerful box openings that you can you have to create an artwork that like is using only those supplies and honestly it's it's an unspoken rule kind of thing and I'd rather create something I'm proud of and am comfortable and confident enough to share with you guys and if that means I need to go in and like use some of my own supplies then so be it all right I'm talking too much goodbye and all that being said, I think it's time to get down to the nitty gritty. Um, I think there's not much more to be said about the products. Um, I plan on saving the black vellum until I'm a little bit more comfortable with using the pastels. I know it's a little bit more of a expensive and niche product that I don't really want to like use on <laughs> brand new. I don't know. I just want to. I just want to save that. So. I think I've talked about everything there is to talk about. I'm gonna go into a speed paint and work on this. And if anything comes up that I wanna bring up, I will be sure to bring that up at the end. So see you then. Alright, so here's my finished piece. I'm pretty happy with it. I couldn't get all of the fine details I wanted using the supplies they gave me, so I did end up using these three Prismacolor pencils, a dark blue, a dark red, and a black, just to get some of those fine details that, you know, when you're using stick pastels, you're kind of guaranteed to not be able to get those <laughs> details. I would think it would have been amazing if they had sent pan pastel and then one like this set of stick pastels and then maybe a couple um pencil pastels soft pastel pencils those are a thing and honestly i've used them before they're amazing um so then i could have used those to get some of those fine details while still having them be the chalky pastel uh form 
formula because the Prismacolors, while they went in there, they didn't really blend and move around the way the pastels did. So kind of once I put that pencil down, it stayed down. So, you know, pros and cons. However, I really enjoyed these pan pastels using them. Like the flat wash of yellow I got in the background is just like to die for. I love the sponge, like it just applies it so evenly. And my hands, while they're dirty, are nowhere near as dirty as they usually are when I use pastels. So, wow. And I've spent two or three hours on it, I believe. It's not like I've been spending a week on this and expected it to look better than it, it does, I don't know. I think the box was definitely worth the value because one, since I found out about there being multiple different toned papers in this palette, this sketchbook, we got the tools, we got the pan pastels, those, and then the vellum sheet, which I haven't even touched yet, so yeah, I think it was definitely worth my time and I had a lot of fun. If you got this box, comment down below and tell me what you thought of it as well. So with that, I'll see you guys next week.